Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, everyone. Uh, this is your brother in Islam, Nadeem here. Uh, brothers and sisters, this is a special edition of the show, although all editions of our show are special, mashallah. Um, as, I don't know if those people who tuned in last week, uh, brother Imran and Slaudin, they mentioned that we're going to talk about initiation, but a bit, bit, bit more, you know, dynamism, with a bit more uh, practical activity. So this is a practical um, examples of initiation. Um, so before we get into this really, really important subject, and before I introduce the subject, and I'll t- give you a little story, uh, brothers and sisters, I need you to share this video right now. Um, we need to get as many people as tuning as possible uh, around the world, in the UK, around the world, so they can also benefit from this, inshallah. So brothers and sisters, whoever's watching this right now, whoever's logging in right now, whoever's, uh, you know, clicked on the uh, watching live now, start, start sharing this, inshallah. Um, let's get uh, a good, decent amount, maybe you know, 50 to start off with, and then we can go straight into the show, inshallah, brothers and sisters. So hopefully uh, the browser can tell me how we're doing in terms of uh, viewers. Brothers, how many got? We've got quite a few. Five, okay. So those five of you who've tuned in, 10, mashallah now, alhamdulillah, excellent. The 10 of you, start sharing this. And not just Facebook sharing, uh, those who are tuning in right now on Facebook, if you have a Twitter, you can tweet this right now. If you have Instagram, why don't you make a little picture, a little post, um, and share this on Instagram. Uh, if you have uh, Pinterest, you have Snapchat, if you have, um, you know, you've got a mobile phone, you've got credits, you've got balance, yeah. Um, check your balance, or just call people, SMS friends, SMS fam- family members, um, even, you know, make some calls, inshallah, because this video, and these videos, these Facebook live shows, um, are very beneficial. This is, subhanAllah, this is something which is, uh, the brothers who must have put this together, they work very hard for the sake of Allah. They put these programs together only for your benefit, only for the sake of da'wah, only to uphold the word of Allah. That's the whole point of these shows. So if we need as many of you, brothers and sisters, not just a few of you, not just 5, 10, 15, 20. We need, inshallah, bi'idhnillah, thousands of you to tune in, inshallah. So when we get to a decent amount, we can uh, start, uh, we can start uh, inshallah, the show. Um, maybe in a few seconds. Um, so I will, we will, just to tell you, brothers and sisters who are watching right now, uh, we will go through initiation. We will hopefully give some practical examples of initiation. Um, we will talk about what is initiation, because maybe you've heard this word, but you don't know what it is. Uh, and then also, we'll also, and maybe towards the second part of the show, we will introduce Gorap, which is a very uh, classical method of IRS method of giving dawah. Uh, it's, uh, it's something which has worked, mashallah. It's been, mashallah, you know, the scholars and the dua experience, the dua that puts to, put this together. And we'll just do a very cursory look at it, a very, a very brief introduction with uh, my brother Salahuddin um, and other brothers, inshallah, as well. Um, so, yeah, any minute now, we're going to start the show. I hope you're all excited, pumped up, taking notes. That's the other thing, brothers and sisters. Uh, as someone who's kind of meddled with English language teaching, I have that teacher in me. Uh, I always encourage notes. Now, there's some people who say, oh, I can do mountain notes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Can't pull that one with me. Brothers and sisters, take notes, inshallah. If not, your, if not a, uh, the old school pen and paper, uh, phone, notebook, or laptop, or iPad, whatever, take notes. It's very important, inshallah. And then the other thing is, uh, maybe I'll repeat this, is when you do take these notes, you need to actually implement this in your lives, in your da'wah. And these kind of initiation techniques... Uh, although most of it is to do with street dawah, you can actually use it um, in other parts. For example, in the university campuses, in a dawah stall, um, in, in many other ways, inshallah. And one thing, one of the f- main features of initiation or these tips is to give you confidence. To give you confidence to talk about Islam in a very confident manner, in a very passionate manner. So that's the, that's the aim. Um, so I think maybe I should get into this, inshallah. Any second now, any minute now. Um, or shall we wait to get to 100? <laughs> so uh, those of you watching, have you just last time? Uh, so uh, before I continue, I just want to say a couple of things, brothers and sisters. Uh, one is one last time, and this may come, come, come as annoying. Uh, share this again, just repeat for those who are tuning in now. Uh, share this uh, on your Facebook timelines, share this on Twitter, share it on Instagram, share it on Snapchat, call people, give people SMS, like, you know, you can say, oh, uh, excuse me, you know, brothers and sisters, or, uh, mate, 
tune into IR.org or Facebook.com, IR.org, right now, right now, right now, that kind of thing. Give it a bit of urgency. Make them curious, inshallah. So they can come in and tune in and watch this and benefit, inshallah. So um, also, brothers and sisters, uh, this is our, I think, fifth show, I believe, or fourth show. Uh, and the previous shows we've covered, for example, last week we covered an introduction to initiation. I think Brother Imran and Salahuddin spoke about that. Uh, before that, we discussed manners. The, the, the characteristics of the caller because uh, some of the, one of the biggest things we're, you know, we're representing the prophetic mission this is very important and we're representing the sunnah of Rasulullah which means when we're out there giving da'wah at all times especially with non-Muslims we have to uphold the sunnah at the high standards and one of the high standards is adab is manners That's, that is it that half of the da'wah you could say is, is manners subhanAllah so if you're speaking in a and, and you know for those of you maybe who understand Urdu just a quick thing on Urdu. Uh, one of the du'at says that you don't, if you want to invite someone to dinner, uh, in fact, I could say in English actually, if you don't, if you don't invite someone to dinner, a dawa, dawa, you don't slap them and say, do you want to come around at 7 p.m.? <laughs> he says that's the whole point. You don't give them a slap and then invite them. No, you, you win them over with the beautiful manners. You be nice to them. You speak humbly. You speak softly. You're here to win uh, their hearts and their arguments. So, brothers and sisters, I think we'll get into it, inshallah, into this show. So, bro- those of you who've just tuned in, today's show, Ayra uh, Dawa Show, uh, Ayra Live Dawa Show, is about initiation. Uh, brothers and sisters, if you don't, don't understand what initiation means, um, the way I see this, um, one of the biggest, you could say, downfalls of, of Da'is, and mashallah, first of all, I want to say, you know, uh, may Allah accept the efforts of everyone, because you're all doing it for the sake of Allah. But we, we, we're people of excellence, we're people of ihsan. Whenever we do anything, whether it's seeking knowledge or whether it's ibadah, even when it's given da'wah, we should do it with the, with the best of means, inshallah. And so if we believe in Ayra amongst the people of du'at, the experience of da'is or ulama, we believe that initiating the conversation or initiating the, 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 the da'wah conversation is as important as the conversation itself. Because if you, if you don't have certain, I'm, I want to give you some tips, inshallah. Um, and if you uh, adopt these tips and techniques in your da'wah, inshallah, what will happen? Your conversations, when you're speaking to someone, it'll be much more comfortable. There'll be a comfort, there'll be warmth in the conversation. You, the, the person you speak to will speak to you with a bit more, uh, bit more awareness. Um, because you're trying to win their heart, that's the whole point. They're, you know, people are judging you. Um, like I said, a lot of this is going to be pointed at street da'wah. Uh, all around the world, whether it's London, Leicester Square, whether it's up another country in the UK, and the USA, Australia, and other countries, in the street situation, a lot of these techniques offer that. For example, giving a leaflet in the streets. But you can also take away these techniques in other parts, in, in other parts of your life as well. So that's why we, what we mean by initiating a conversation. Um, and a lot of it is going to be based upon humor. A lot of it is based upon confidence and that kind of thing. Uh, so brothers and sisters, uh, a quick story, uh, there's this a rumor going that uh, my nickname is called Master Stopper. Uh, it sounds very arrogant, it sounds very bold, uh, and the reason why some people have given me this nickname, because I believe, and this may come across very bold, but again, remember, this is, remember, as, as in, in Islam, as Muslims, we should always be humble. Humility is a part of our, of our deen. But when it comes to da'wah, when it comes out there, when we're speaking to people and carrying Islam, it should be done with confidence and full of boldness and, and passionate and be, you know, be proud of your tradition. So I believe, and this is my, you can say like a dare to the world, I believe as someone who can be in the streets of London, Leicester Square, um, you know, other parts of London, it could be Ilford, it could be East Ham, it could be uh, Elam Broadway, it could be where, wherever. Wherever there's a street situation, wherever there's a crowded place, I believe as someone, as a master stopper, I can actually stop anyone I want to at any time. I've got no issues with someone. Especially in London, especially those big cities like Melbourne and New York City and Washington, where the crowds, are, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very busy place. There's hundreds of people a second going past you as a da'i. You're in there, you want to speak to them. So I believe that I can actually stop anybody anywhere. So that's, and this nickname came from when I used to fundraise uh, in the charity in central London. And central London is regarded as a uh, very busy place. In fact, even amongst the world of fundraising, and when we used to, have, um, com- we used to compete with other teams around the world, New York and Melbourne and uh, other cities and Europe, uh, they said that London, central London, is the most difficult place to stop people. It's like, almost impossible. But alhamdulillah, you know, when I used to fundraise through certain techniques, through certain skills, I had no issue. I actually enjoy it. I should revel in the situation. And alhamdulillah, by the mercy of Allah, by the Father of Allah, those skills that I picked up, 
alhamdulillah, I'm, I want to contribute to the dawah. I want to, I want to pass on these skills and ideas, uh, and so you can benefit only to uphold the, the, the name of Allah. Make Allah's name the highest in the land. That's the whole point, inshallah. And may Allah accept this effort. Um, so, brothers and sisters, there's various um, stages we're going to go to. But before that, just a quick reminder, those of you who are tuning in right now, today's show, today's uh, Ayra live Dawah show is about initiation and a bit about go up later on, inshallah. Um, I'm just going to start uh, uh, some topics on initiation. I just spoke, spoke about why I am called the master stopper. And if, you, if you're confused, what does this master stopper mean? It means, basically, I believe, and inshallah, some of you guys, because I'm sure many brothers and sisters are far more confident than me, far more expressive than me, far more dynamic than me. Younger, you know, mashallah, I'm an old guy now. Um, they can maybe take this on and become the next best master stopper, which means you can stop any person on the streets anytime you want to. Okay? So this is, a, this is the show today, inshallah. So bismillah, let's get into it then. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I want to show you three things today. Because um, this is a whole subject. Before I do get into that as well, I do want to say these are just ideas, these are just tips and suggestions. They're not uh, written in stone. Basically, I want you to take the idea and use it as much as possible, as much as it suits your personality, because we don't want to be completely fake either. So this is my style, it works, but th- hopefully this will help you make you think of, of thinking outside the box. So when you're on the streets, when you're giving Dao on the Dao stall or giving out flyers, Hopefully, you can adopt some of these styles and build upon it. That's the whole point, inshallah. If you could take anything away, that's the main uh, message of today's show, inshallah. So, uh, we will talk about really quickly how to give out flyer, because one of the mainstays of Dawah is flyer distribution or leaflet distribution. Uh, the other part will be about how to stop people. So, I'll give you some ideas to stop people in the streets, because some people, they struggle in a crowded place to try and stop people, or they stop the wrong people. So sometimes you want to chat to a particular person, but you don't know how to stop them, and they always walk away with you. And what that does, it, for, for a lot of people who, you know, lack of ilm or whatever, they get demotivated and they leave the dawah. But, but we want you to continue dawah, uh, because one of, you know, the, the, as the prophetic hadith goes, one of the best ease is the leads that are continuous. So that's the other thing. So uh, we'll discuss how to give a flyer out. We'll discuss uh, also how to stop people, and also just some lines, the third part, the do's and don'ts, of how to start a conversation, inshallah. So, bismillah, for that, I'm going to read a prop. And this is where I, I welcome Brother Salahuddin, mashallah, who's looking very smart and slick today. And he will enter the frame anyway now. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu Welcome to the show, bro. Jazakallah khairan. How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited, actually. I'm really excited about what you're talking about. Okay, mashallah. Because, you know, being involved in the da'a, the hardest thing that I find, and, you know, when I speak to Duat is how do you stop people? How yes, do you engage yeah. in conversation? Yeah. Yep. So I was just sitting there and I heard this story about you're the master stopper. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Very arrogant. I know. Sorry. No, no, it's good. It's good. I know because you have some really good techniques. I'm really excited to learn about these techniques and, and these some techniques. of these we used in the last campaign, user campaign. I think Absolutely. World w, WDM last year, World Down yeah, Mission. World Down Mission, the recent Easter campaign. Yeah. And they worked really well, right? Hang and on. we're going to be sharing some. You're probably of those observing from a distance. What's this guy doing? Okay. No, I myself used. So this is really good. Alhamdulillah, okay. So, yeah. begin? so brothers, what I'm going to do, the first part, um, and we're going to do, do something which is the do's and don'ts of flyer distribution. Right. Now, brothers and sisters, uh, you may have seen this, or maybe you. this is something you've done, and this is something which we've done as well, is that when we're giving out a flyer, uh, we do it with such, uh, you know, there's some things to do which puts you off the dawah, and actually puts other people off the dawah as well, and people who are watching, and people who are going past. So, one thing we're going to do is the don'ts of flyer distribution. Okay, yep. So Brilliant. two, three don'ts. So one of the things is, so for example, you're, uh, I'm some on the street, yes. and you're going towards me, although you can't just a couple of steps. Okay. This, is, this is one thing you don't do. <laughs> right. And so maybe show you again. So if you step okay, back. So, uh, so w- what I'm doing there is basically I'm slouching. Right. Yeah, I'm slouching. That's, that's a slouch. So I'm giving it, the shoulders are dropped. Okay. Yeah, the legs are dropped. You look weak. There's no presence. That's the, the brothers so the brothers and sisters don't do that when you that's what, what you don't do when you give out a flyer. Uh, number two, um, this is this is the other thing brothers and sisters do. And maybe we can you know you can guess what I'm doing here. So uh, this is the second one. So hey, leaflet, thank you. And what's my facial expression? Yeah, you look very negative. You yeah, look yeah. very grumpy. Yes, yeah, very grumpy. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, do not be grumpy in the streets. Yeah, remember. So we're going to go with the don'ts. Do sorry, going with the don'ts, don'ts, and then we'll do the do's in a okay, minute, inshallah. Fine. Okay. So that's it. So don't be grumpy. Uh, don't don't slouch. Don't have a negative body language. Right. And the third one was uh, this is the most uh, important thing, is 
So maybe this is, a, this is more me talking. Uh, I don't think I can give a practical example. Maybe I can if I think of something. But one of the things is, is a da'i, when he's given da'wah calling to Allah on the streets of yes. London or a busy place, he should own that piece of land he's standing on. Now, the, the psychology is, the psychology, and this, basically what, what the whole point is, in, for example, Leicester Square, and you've seen this as well, bro, yeah? Yes. In Leicester Square, bro, uh, the people are walking past. You could say they're going on a date, maybe it's a very famous dating area. They're going for gambling, they're going to watch a movie, right. a people finishing work, yes. or going home, going out to get some food. Yes. That's the kind of area Leicester Square yes, is, right? So, you, so that's what they're there for. What are we there for? Dawah. We're given dawah, yeah? yeah. In other words, we're here to call to Allah. Yes. Which means we have more right to be present in that piece of land on the streets than them. Let that sink in. Meaning the whole point is, the, the reason why I'm telling you this, right. is when you're out on the streets, you should be confident, you should be uh-huh. chest out, you should be bold. You should be like, oh, uh, what if I barge into someone? Or, you know, I'm in their way. That's what brothers and sisters think. That's, do not think this. Like, oh, I might come in their way. I might obstruct them. Mm. They, might think neg- they might think bad of me. They might yes. negatively me. Brother says, this is why I'm telling you this. You own the land. You're here for Allah. They're here for their nafs. Wow. That's, that's way, profound. That's and you know what? At. From my experience, when people first start getting involved in the Tao, yeah. they tend to have this sort of quality. You know, they're, it's very apologetic. Yeah. Like they're, yeah. they're sorry being there. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. involved in yeah. you know, someone's way when they're walking, so they're not confident. And it's almost like it's a battle of wills yeah, out yeah, there, right? Yeah. This person's yeah. going to do something, yeah. whatever it may be, and you're there. But because you're weak in your stance, yeah, or maybe yeah. you've got a negative expression, yeah. right? It doesn't come across good, and so people just ignore you. Exactly. Yeah. So th- these are the don'ts. Right. Don't be grumpy. Don't don't be you know don't slump and look yes. b- negative body language, and don't think that you're obstructing. Uh, before we go go to the do's yes. of how to give out a flyer, yes. uh, just a quick reminder, Salahuddin, why are we doing this show? For those who tuned in. So today's show, we're talking about. Initiation, we're talking about how to initiate, we're going to be talking about the go rap later, the Aira's sort of classical methodology, inshallah. So, this is what we're talking about. So, you know, I've joined the show just now, I know you introduced it. So, if you've just joined the show, make sure that you share the video right now. Go and click that button at the bottom where it says invite, because you'll have access to all your friends. Invite every single one of them so that, that they can benefit from the show. Remember, Dawah is all about going out there, yeah. inviting people, like you said, in a nice, you know, friendly, warm manner. And one of the ways that you sort of invite is to initiate. And that's probably one of the hardest <coughs> things, right? When yeah. it comes to that, how do you initiate a conversation? How do you start a conversation? How do you call to Allah? So, mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, you're going to be giving some yeah. good do's inshallah. and some good, inshallah. good, good examples. Inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. So, that's, those are the don'ts right. of giving a, a flyer distribution. Uh, some of the do's. So, what I will, uh, some of the do's is basically, uh, you always have to smile. Give me a smile, bro. Yeah, that's a good smile, mashallah. Bro, what do you think? Good smile, yeah? Smile is extremely important. Extremely right. important. You know, if you're walking the street and I'm standing there giving a flyer, would you want to stop someone like who's doing this? No. No, <laughs> Yeah, yeah you'll yeah. be warm towards that because yes. you know people have a long yeah uh, people in london again leicester square as an example because we go there regularly yes people have worked hard since you know some of these people wake up at five o'clock six in the morning and they work hard all day providing their families yes and then they go home and then they're walking Absolutely. past the yes. last person they want to speak to is someone with a moody face with a slouch look <laughs> yes. and, and thr- thrusting the fly in their face oh, yeah grumpy, yes. but we don't want to do that you know we're muslim we're friendly we're naturally friendly smile and uh, we have a prophetic hadith which is Smile because yeah, it's. Yeah, the Prophet told us to smile, right? Yeah, because so, it's sunnah. So, yeah, yeah, smile, so, smile, and smile is a charity. Yes, yeah, smile. Well, there you charity. go. Smile. So you 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 using dawah, getting all the dawah, and you're giving charity as well. Oh, smile. Allah. Same time, mashallah. There we go. How we come across something? <laughs> uh, the other thing, bonus is um, your body language should be open, eager. So again, as opposed to being slouched. So if you were coming towards me, yep. uh, if I did this and you know push you away, and yeah, go on. And that's that's one thing, yeah. It's very I mean, negative. Yeah. Well, I always use this example. We're not evening standard distributors. Okay. We're not metro distributors, yeah. We're not London Light. Right. That's going back now, isn't it? London Light. Because uh, what they used to do you, do you remember London Light? No, oh, I don't okay. remember London Light. Some people do. <laughs> okay, showing my age. If you're the same age as me, anyway. Right. Okay, so director sub. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so we're not d- hair distributing because if, if the job was to just distribute flyers, which sometimes we have to. Yes. Sometimes, again, this is a near check. Although we're eager, we've learned knowledge. Yep. And we've done some Dawah training and yes. we're eager to give knowledge. Some days, sometimes you will be just giving out flyers. And I'm yeah, sure you've been in that situation course. as well, yeah? yeah? You know, especially where there's a lot of uh, foot flow. There may be an event, like yeah. a sporting event. People are, you know, traveling to and from. So they don't have time for a conversation. 
So what you do is you give them a fly, you give them an, a material so that they can read it in their own time. So yeah. there are yeah. times when yeah. you're doing that, yeah. absolutely. So uh, you, you want to have, when someone's going to, we're not, we're not going to give out a lot of leaflets as if we're on a target. So right, like, yes, oh yeah, yes. I've got 15 leaflets, oh no, 15 go. No, you're not doing that. The whole point is you want to engage in that and uh, hopefully yes. stop them in the chat. So uh, as opposed to being grumpy, you should be lively and open. How are you doing? You all right? Yes. How's I'm life? Good. You good, yeah? I'm good, Excellent. Yes. What do you think? Nice. Brilliant. Nice colour, nice. yeah? Yeah, yeah. Matches, matches your suit. You, there you go. He knows. Mashallah. So, open stance, open body language, positive body language, that right. kind of thing. Um, also, uh, the other thing I want you the Dais to be, inshallah, is look enthusiastic. Um, yes. Now, this is another point I want to just, it's a slight nuance point. Um, some brothers may be thinking, look, you, this is a serious issue. And of course it is, because we, you know, we're here as warners. Yeah, the yeah. prophetic mission is a warning to mankind uh, that if we don't uh, think and ponder upon the earth, uh, on earth about Allah, about existence, and if we don't accept Islam or follow Islam, probably we could be in trouble in the hereafter, as, yeah. as is warned by the Quran. And it is a serious issue. The point is, uh, bro, the initiation and humor and that kind of thing is for the person to, to actually get them to stop and chat so you can get to that level of seriousness. Mm. So you enter seriousness via humor. You right. enter the serious topic via a bit of joking around, via a bit of banter. That's right. the whole point. Because uh, as you'll see, uh, and brothers and sisters might experience this, we want to give them a serious passionate doubt to Islam, of yes, course. And it's, you're, you're going to talk about death. You're going to talk about Allah, you're going about very serious issue. Of course you are. This, this is da'wah. Uh, we're, not, you know, we're not here to write a comedy. But the entry, the entry point, the initiation has to be a bit of comedy, has to be warm, has to be someone who's, uh, you know, we have to kind of entertain them to, into a, a conversation. That's right. the whole point. So hopefully some brothers and sisters will understand and, that and point. And that's, that's, that's yeah. interesting because, you know, we see a lot of da'wah happening across the world, yeah. across the UK. Yeah. And a lot of the times, to use this expression, it's dry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's dry because there's no yeah. sort yeah. of enthusiasm. People ain't smiling. They're not using these techniques. And what's interesting is like, I just want to go back to your story of the master stopper. Yes, right? yes, the master from. stopper, you know. <laughs> it's because what's, what's really interesting is when I, when we went out and we give dawah, a mm. lot of the times we see these, what they're known as charity cheggers, right? Yeah, yes, uh, charity huggers. Charity huggers, right? Not muggers. Oh, muggers. That yeah. was a little <laughs> plug-in for charity friends out there. Then you're gone. <laughs> right, so the point is yeah. that if you see them on the street, they have all of these characteristics, but they're really good at engaging people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not shy, very lively, very happy, bubbly, enthusiastic. Yes, yes, yeah, enthusiastic. Yeah. And you see that, and like that, you know, that sort of engages people. They stop, yeah. they smile, and that's what you want. You, yeah. So, how do you develop that? Like, you know, obviously, you've given us a few tips, mm. but what are the good techniques? You know, when well, it comes to well, have things? some patience, my son. We're going to come to that. Oh wow! So, well, uh, <laughs> before we do that, ah, yes, before we do that, if you just joined the live stream. Please make sure you share uh, the video, go down to the bottom, make sure you invite your friends. Today's topic, we're talking about initiation, and we're going to be going into Ayura's methodology of giving Dao, which is the Go Wrap, and that's going to be really interesting. And also what I want to do is maybe at this point, um, maybe engage with the viewers that are watching. So if you have any comments, any questions, any examples of initiation, if you have anything ready, you know, this is an interactive show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want you guys to get involved. We're not here just to, you know, like you said, entertain yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We want to, you know, educate you, get involved, and you know, be be involved in now and get uh, the are reward we, of doing. Are now. we getting comments, brothers? Any questions, comments? Any comments? Any questions? Okay, okay. they're just looking no for it, inshallah. Okay, we can continue, inshallah. No inshallah. problem. Inshallah, and also okay. maybe uh, let us know where your um, sort of. Um, yeah, I, in from. I also uh, in the comments if you're understanding what we're saying and if you don't understand what we're saying uh, sometimes we rush what we're saying please help uh, pl let us know we'll answer it later after the show as well inshallah because some of these points it takes time to understand it took yes, me time yes, as well yes, absolutely. Um, so just two points on the, the do's of flyer distribution and then yes. we move to the next bit which is how to maybe stop someone yes. yeah? uh, the, 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 this point is basically Salahuddin that uh, when someone's coming towards you it, we're not going to be silent we're not mute Okay. Allah has given us a, a, a mouth, <laughs> yeah. Allah has given us intelligence, we have words, you know, we can talk. So when they are coming past you, yes. if they, maybe just say, you know, even for the people who are, for example, starting off a street hour, it's their first time, yes. even just a hello, how you doing? So you're walking past, hello, how's it going? You're right, good yeah, morning. Good. Yeah, yeah. And then another, another one would be, you know, hi, how's it going? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, good. There's a nice little leaf for oh, you. Thanks. You could do that, that's fine. Although I would recommend, it's not my style because yes. it's boring for me. But, you know, you could say something, well, wow, you look like a kind of guy that definitely wants this flyer. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> or an, or another one could be. And remember, brothers, is a cheeky, bit cheeky, a bit of banter. It works. You can say, "Oh, by the way, we produce this fly just for you." No Excellent. way. Anyway, you're the perfect person. Wow. There you go. <laughs> you feel them, make them feel special. So the whole point is always give them some words, even if even as minimum is good morning. Right. Even right, as good, right. uh, you know. Uh, uh, I know you're in a rush, but here's a quick flyer. Right. Um, so th there are, you know, there's different uh, styles. Sometimes brothers just want to give flyers and that's it that's fine especially when you're starting off the dawa when your first time building up you, when you're building confidence inshallah you want to be regular but uh when you're starting off you can be you know, just give flies out that's it for two oh, hours okay, yep. and then go home but for those who are a bit more advanced who've been doing dawa stores because i'm sure many bumpers are watching have been doing dawa stores for years mashallah yes, in, in yes, uk absolutely. in in india in uh, what other countries we're in bro yeah uh, we're all across six continents you know africa australia Islam, okay America. mashallah yes and so you know dawa is about Conveying the call, yeah. you know, Ayera, what we're doing is we're advancing the prophetic mission, right? And like you said, you know, that's about having conversations, yeah. and talking, yeah. opening your mouth. So yeah, yeah. That's open your mouth and not mumbling. Yes. Then, okay. Yeah, my Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> mm, Jesus. You know, right, so be right. clear. I have a leaflet about Jesus. Ask me. We believe in Jesus. Ask me why. Be right, very yes. clear. So make sure they hear what you're saying as well. Yeah. A lot of time we just want to get them done with. Uh, it's that hope. That's one thing the brothers to do. They have this hope that okay, I'm going to give a flyer. Yep. I'll say a couple of things and I hope they'll understand it. Oh. Or I'll hope they'll get the concept. No, no, you have to be very clear and precise and be loud and proud and enthusiastic in your words, inshallah. So that's the Brilliant. last point okay, on don'ts. Like so, yes. Uh, we have a question? Don't have confidence to go out and give the truth hour, but how do I start talking to my friends? Okay, that's a really good question. So okay. the question is basically, you know, don't have confidence, right, to go out there yeah. to give street hour. But maybe I want to just get into conversations yeah. with people that I know, my friends, my work colleagues, my neighbours. How do you address that? Where do you begin? Okay, um, brothers and sisters, this question, um, I've been asked this question before. And this could maybe apply to sisters more because in certain situations, a lot of situations, sisters cannot do street dao. Okay. They, they want to do it, mashallah. And hopefully you'll get rewarded just for having that intention to go out. Um, I think the mindset in your mind, the mindset should be, that this dawah, and the reason this is why we're in the dawah, inshallah, inshallah. Uh, that we want to save ourselves and everyone else, that includes family, friends, neighbors, the, the world, humanity, every single person from the fire that is burning. We, that is the whole point. There is actually, there's actually a, a fire that's burning in Jahannam. Allah has created it, it exists, and we want to save as much as possible. So, so what you're saying is that you have care and concern about everyone yeah. around us, yes, right? Just yeah. like we have current There about should be a family. burning desire inside of you. Mm -hmm. And when you have this burning desire, that pushes you to give Dao to every single person you interact with. Right. Okay. Dawa is for everyone. I, I would say that Dawa is for your your brother, your sister, your mother, although with the, with the parents, that's a different topic. You have to be a bit nuanced, a bit more respectful. You're not giving them Dawa. You've got to kind of in, in, have a chat with them. I, I don't call... Anyone with elders, with elders, parents, and I've actually done a whole issue, a series on this uh, uh, online, on okay. blogging, uh, giving out to family and parents, because right. this complains a lot. A lot of brothers and sisters, when they start practicing, especially in trying to give dao to parents, oh, I'm going to say my dad, and yes, we'll tell them what to do. Yes. No, you don't tell your dad what to do. I'm telling you that now, yeah? You have a chat with them. So it's right. very different. You don't, you don't even use the word dao with your parents. So right. dad, I'm about to give dao to you. No, never, never, <laughs> absolutely never. So anyone, dad or mom or older, you don't use a dawah, you're having a chat with them, you've got to change your style a bit. Okay. But everyone else, yes. your brother, your sister, your friends, your neighbours, your colleagues, your university colleagues, uh, even that shopkeeper down the road, you buy a newspaper or milk, yes. even the, the lady, the Tesla, the checkout person, uh, any human being that you come in contact with, give them something. It doesn't have to be a whole conversation, give them something. So and what would you give them? Well, there's, we have martial art dawah training online. Yes. We have videos. We have uh, short videos. We have long videos on different topics of Islam. But I would also say to, as a, a as initiation into dawah training, I would advise this little tip: is there's some amazing YouTube videos. For example, there's the Merciful Servant. There's a uh, there's amazing videos, martial art. And some you know what? I don't know if this happens to you, bro. You watch a short video, four or five minutes, on Facebook now and then YouTube. And some videos, oh, Marshall, a very nice video, you know, very nice to done. Some videos you like, mm -hmm. jaw dropping, like the throne of Allah. Have you seen that? The merciful servant, yeah, the throne of I Allah. Saw that. You uh, watch that video, it just blows your mind, subhanAllah. It's, it's, uh, the video's gone mind blowing. That wow moment, that subhanAllah moment, which you have, you need to capture that and share that with another human being. So what share you're saying that. is that maybe share some information 
and then go back to them and have a discussion about it. Yeah, have a passion about it. Say, look, mm -hmm. I need to tell you this. Right. Like, just, that's a, sit down, sit down. Um, so that's one way. The other ways are uh, food and drink is a very, very good way of getting All to people's right. food hearts. And drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to uh, offer, just to, like, offering them, look, I want to buy you coffee. Don't even say I want to give, you know, in your head, your plan is to give them that. Right. Very subtle. But offer friends, listen, um, what are you doing next week, next Tuesday? Okay, let's go have a coffee. And then that's, that will give, give you seven days to prepare you know, what to say to them. Maybe look at the notes, uh, maybe look at the IRA website, IRA.org, maybe the, the Facebook page, maybe the, the IRA YouTube channel. There's a right. lot of content there. We've got, mashallah, a lot of content. Mm. We've got the old shows as well, which covers a lot of topics, mashallah, yes. which you've done, which Imran's done. So there's a lot of content. You have to go there, access that. You've got a whole week, and then when you have that coffee with the friends, just, share, just let it all out. Get it all out mm. with your friends and family. So, uh, okay. Okay. Um, so, any more comments? Anything to share? Nothing? Okay, so maybe we wrap up this session in terms okay. of the actual initiation. So do you have examples of uh, the ones that you really liked? What are your favorite sort well, of initiations? Well, brothers and sisters, I would say that examples. when you're on the streets of London, uh, because everyone's busy, because you could argue no one's interested in religion in this day and age. People yes. want entertained. You know, we go to Leicester Square. What do you see? You see, uh, you know, uh, uh, you see uh, Entertainers, musicians, jugglers, yeah, musicians. jugglers. You see the juggler? I don't know. Uh, you, that just came to mind. Anyway, but entertainers, entertainers yeah, <laughs> entertainers, yeah. face uh, painting, yes. uh, painters, that kind of thing. People know, and they get crowds and crowds. Yeah, it, who was a crowd? Yeah, who was a chat? To, who was a chat to a religious person? Who was a serious chat on a five or six o'clock in the afternoon? No one wants to be preached to. Nobody wants to preach to. Yeah. So and plus, there's other, other people of other religions that preach in such a manner mm. that if they see you, they they'll think, oh, this is just another right. crazy okay. preacher. Yeah. So I would say bring banter into this. You, banter. This What's banter. banter. So what I mean about banter is um, how, joke around with people, give them ah, compliments. Okay. So for example, you would be absolutely perfect if you're walking from a distance. Right. And that's the other thing. But was try and catch someone from a distance. When you're looking at a crowd, don't try and stop every single person right. because you're going to go crazy. Especially in London, especially in crowded cities. Do not try and stop. Oh, hello, excuse me. Uh, hello, excuse me. No, no. That's, you're going to go mad. You're going to get tired, and you're you're demotivated, and you won't come back to the house like, again. No focus as well. You have no focus. What I would advise is pick someone from the crowd for 20, 30 yards down, the, as your eyes can see. Right. Or um, try and point at someone, or, I don't know if you've seen this, I've, I actually wave at someone. You so, wave? So someone comes up, and, they, and, and they'll literally go, me? I go, yeah, you. And, then, and, then, and they'll say, what, why me? Because you're amazing. Wow. Or, or I would say, they'll say, you know, if you say, so if you say, why me? Why so, me? Why me? Because look at that suit, bro. <laughs> and, and brothers, the compliment has to be genuine. It comes, look at that um, suit. No, no, right. you've got to be genuine about it. So, mean it yeah. so it's find something you like. And you know, in London, again, in busy cities, take your pick. Take right. your time, take your picks. Actually, genuinely, if you like suits, find someone with a nice suit. If you like, if you like t-shirts, find someone with a nice t-shirt. In London, in, in the summer, they have a lot of messages in their t-shirt. Read the message. And sometimes people don't know what, what they got on. So for example, this one, you know, it says, Jesus, blessed by God. If I said, oh, you're Jesus, blessed by God. What, what are you on about? <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Cause, you know, we've you been... know what's interesting about this point is yeah. that, you know, especially in the age that we're living in, um, people actually spend a lot of time yes. deciding yeah. what to wear every day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's interesting is most people never get complimented, yes, right? Yes. No one tells them, oh, that's a nice shirt you're wearing. I, oh, that's I, a nice yeah. pair. I made a career out of complimenting people. <laughs> and they really uh, appreciate that, yeah, right? Yeah, they really yeah. appreciate that. So, yes. you know, flattery does yes, work. Yeah, yeah. No, pe <laughs> people, they, uh, I, I say as dais, uh, people crave attention. As dais, we will give them that attention mm, they crave for. Nice. We will give it to them. Um, and when they're walking towards you, always pick out uh, the guy with a really nice suit. Because you know, if you just say, uh, so if you're walking and say, hi, can I have a chat? You know, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah? Or right. if you go back again, yeah. you say, um, hi, how are you? Can you talk about Islam? No? Okay. So, <laughs> right. so you can't walk. But if I say, can, remember, remember, in their mind, brothers, in their mind, they've got to get home. Right. They've got to go to the same as we get shopping. Yes. They've got to, go, they've got to date. Yeah, yes. yeah, they're late for a date. Yeah, they've got to you know gamble their life away. They've got to do all this nonsense. Yeah, so they've got a lot on their mind, a lot on their plate. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we need to get into that mindset, and the way yes. to do it is you know shock them, surprise them. That's all. They they will, they will never expect a religious guy, especially a Muslim, and this is one of our downfalls, to be happy, bubbly, and to give them a compliment. They will yes. like it will completely give them a paradigm shift. They go wow, and they might even talk about it in the pub with wow. their friend. Mate, this bearded Muslim guy. He came here, come. He said, "I don't know, I suit." He'd be surprised, shocked. So hopefully that will make him think. Yeah, yeah. This so there's multiple really things. I'm excited about this because these are really some good yeah. tips. Yeah. You know, we need to go out there, put them into practice. And yes. I'm sure yeah, that yeah. Guys that are 
watching, make sure you use these things that we're talking inshallah. about today. Inshallah. Hopefully we were discussing that maybe at some point, if Allah allows, bithnillah, uh, in the new exciting campaign, which you're going to mention in a minute, uh, we can Am do I some street... <laughs> yes, Are you going to mention? I don't know. Okay. Or we keep it a surprise. Yes. It depends. Um, so we can, uh, we can actually do a practical implementation of this thing. Okay, that's it. So basically what we're going to be talking about um, next week is we're going to be going into the actual methodology, IRA's trademark methodology for giving da'a, which is? Gorap. Gorap, right. So what I want to do is I want to get you guys involved. I want you to get involved in this process. What does the GORAP stand for? So before you mention it, right, you mm. guys out there that are watching, what does the GORAP stand yeah. for? Yeah, let's have some comments. <coughs> what does GORAP stand for? So if you know, if you've been on the training, put in some comments, see what you think. If you know what the GORAP stands for, type it in and we'll read out the comments because it's very important. It's all good and well. Yeah, you spoke about in yeah. initiation and, yes. and stopping people. But now you've stopped uh, and we only And we only touched upon it, by the way. There's a, it's still an expensive subject. So we yeah. can go into a lot more detail. Yeah, inshallah. But inshallah, these tips that we've, we've, we've discussed, inshallah, they'll be of use. But now you've stopped me, what yeah. are you going to be speaking about? Well, first I want to shake your hand. Right. And I'll say, that's an amazing handshake. <laughs> do you know what? That's probably the best handshake I've had today. Really? Wow. wow. Seriously, wow. man. And what cream do you use? Okay, so now you're going too much. <laughs> but that's what I do. This is humor. I really, really want to win them over. I want to make them smile. The objective is to make them laugh, if yes. not make them smile, so we can prepare the heart for a serious discussion. That's the whole point. That's my style. So, yeah. So then I'll say, for example, so if this is a Jesus campaign, I'll say, so basically, uh, I'll say, thanks for stopping for it, by the way. I know you're in a rush. Um, you got a couple of minutes. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Got two minutes? Yeah. Ha- hour? Not Three hours? Hour. No, no, I'm no, just joking, no. fellow. Okay. Basically, my name is Nadim, yes. and I'm here. Basically, I want to give you this flyer, okay. uh, and I'll have your opinions on this. And we talk about Jesus, and you, as you can see, the title is actually very provocative, and it's very in your face and very bold. Um, what's your opinion about this? So, do you have an opinion about Jesus? Wow. Yeah, this is interesting because. Uh yeah, you you're Jesus confused, here, right? And you're Muslim. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? That's what that's all about. <laughs> so that's an example, right? Yeah. Of, of, of what, but what we're going to be talking about is once you've started the conversation, how do you then direct it to Dawah? Yeah. How do you go into then speaking about the message yes. of Tawheed, yeah. inshallah? So do we have any comments, any so, ideas when it comes to what we'll be speaking about? Yes, Mr. Ayub. Muhammad Wahid says, the G stand for God. Brilliant. G does stand for God. So well, we've got the first part of the go rap, which is... God's existence. So who can who can uh, move it along and go into the rest of it, which is the O, the R, the A, and the P. So any more comments? He asks, is R reason? Ooh, oh, is our reason it's not bad. Close? It's not bad. That's a not good, bad guess. Good guess. Inshallah. But that's the wrong answer, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's the wrong answer. Uh, so, uh, what so before we you know without even going into the sort of details of the go rap? Yeah. What's so good about the go rap? I think for me, if I speak from a personal angle, yes. um, because a lot of us uh, have a lot of information coming in our heads yes. through videos, through books, through courses, through halakats, to, through tafsir, to whatever we're studying, inshallah. Yes. Uh, and Islam is huge. Islam is massive. Uh, you know, all parts of Islam are, are enough to impress any human being yes. because it's the truth. Yes. Yeah? But what God it guides you in a structured way how to talk about Islam, especially the intellectual foundation of Islam, wow. which is profound, which is solid, um, which is um, you know it can uh, inspire anybody who listens to it. So go up is for me is a very good structured way of, of starting conversation. Um, of course, go up is one of the ways. It's not the only means, yes. but it's there as a guide, as a good start. It's worked for many brothers and sisters. It's actually by the mercy of Allah brought in shahadas yeah, just yeah, to go up. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's phenomenal because yeah. Know, this People methodology Islam. that's been developed, you know, by experienced du'a such yeah. as Abdul Rahim Green, Hamza Zorsi, you know, Yusuf Chambers. People have been using this methodology for a number of years across the world, and it's effective. Yeah. Yeah. People have come to Islam. You know, this has helped to plant seed. Yeah. And what's great about it is, you know, there's many Muslims around the world, and they're motivated to do something for the Deen. And they know Islam is the truth, but they don't know how to articulate yeah, yeah, that, right? Yeah, in yeah, a correct yeah. way. That's, and this the, is what that's the, the key word. Yeah, and this is what yeah. GORAP does. So yeah. I think we have another comment. But are you? Oh, yes. Daniel, Daniel goes, is our revelation. Oh, is revelation. Well done, Daniel. Correct. correct. You get a dua from me. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Brilliant. So we've got the G, God's existence. We've got the R, which is revelation. So we're missing the O and the A and the P. So yes. if you're still watching. One was an easy comment, one. Yeah. I mean, Inshallah, let us know what is the go rap methodology. The A will really surprise you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, any more comments? 
winner. Oh, we have a winner. I didn't know this. I didn't know this was a competition. But anyway, yeah. Shiraz says. God's Shiraz, boy. Oneness, revelation, and prophecy. Brilliant, oh, you, thank you, Shiraz. You support the rest of us, He's but I'm not Brother Shiraz from uh, Wembley. Uh, yes, this is our brother from Wembley, Mashallah. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Hope did, you're doing did, well. did Shiraz, did he tune in from the beginning and has he got, understood some of the points we went I through? Think he's actually one of our experienced du'a. Ah, mashallah. So he's doing okay. a lot of da'a, yeah. So, mashallah. So, this is good. So, this is the go rap, right? And Still. this is what we're going to be speaking about God's existence, oneness, revelation. And prophethood. And actually, we are developing the A. So instead of just oh, saying and. It'd be more than just an and. Afterlife. Oh, so Afterlife, wow, I right? like so it. So you were speaking about that yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humble. So this, is, this, is, this yeah. is what the go rap is. And, you know, that's what we've been speaking about today. We've been speaking about initiation, yeah. initiating conversations. We've introduced the go rap, Aira's, you know, uh, methodology when it comes to conveying mm. the course. So maybe just give a quick summary of okay. initiation before we end the show and then maybe we can just before we end just just um, share some things that you know are coming up with Ayer inshallah okay so we covered uh, the do's and don'ts of giving a flyer yep. uh, do not, the don'ts are do not look uh, neg negative body language yes. uh, do not look boring do not look yes. dead on the streets look lively look happy smile all the time you know be active the other thing is try and walk around as well okay. uh, one of the brothers I spoke to last time in Brixton with hour, he stood there and you know, giving a lot of, like not this no way. like a rope. So I said, walk around. Just yeah. walking around here and there, it, it gives you a bit of energy, okay. and it actually also helps you. And this is another tip for street door arts around the world: is when you when you have to do a long campaign. Some of our campaigns are six, seven hours long, like you made us do in uh, <laughs> last week. You know, six, seven hours long, mashallah. May Allah accept it. And this I is mean, what we do: we we strive in the, in the in the path of Allah. Is you get tired, and you get more tired if you stand still. Right. If you move around, and we do the fundraising days, just move around here. Not not crazy move around, but yes. just a few there. You let the bl blood circulate in your legs okay. rather than just standing there for six hours. You get more tired like that. Right, right. So move around, yeah, move around. You'll feel good physically, and it shows a bit of dynamism to the people. Uh, we also covered how to start a conversation. Uh, compliments is a key thing, you know. And by the way, just a quick note: brothers complimenting men only, please. Yeah, we don't want to get complaints afterwards. Yeah, and sisters, the art, you know, if you're whichever uh, field of Dao you'll, you'll be in. Uh, maybe a university campus now, maybe a, uh, like a festival conference. You can give, by all means, give a compliment system. Make the sisters feel good, you know, um, and then start the conversation. But yeah, guys, brothers, give compliment only to guys. So let's keep it halal, yeah? We keep it halal, <laughs> suits, clothing, that kind of thing. Make it genuine as possible. Don't just say, uh, another way, don't say, nice suit. Anyway, we'll live around. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> You've got to say, that Be is genuine, a, yeah. I mean, I go in, I go, that's a nice suit. I say, wow, man, is that you go, boss? <laughs> Bruv, man, come on. You know, I really get impressed. Wow. You've got to do that. You've got to really, you've got to be really genuine. Yeah, you can't just say, yeah, nice suit. Yeah. <laughs> that's sarcasm. So, yeah, so those are kind of things. But like, like uh, you mentioned, uh, initiation, it's a big topic. Yes. And like Sabu put it on me, I'm writing a, a booklet of sorts on this. Inshallah, oh, make dua that I can do this at some point, uh, which brothers and sisters can benefit. Inshallah. Maybe some videos on this as well. Inshallah. So just a couple of Should we, yeah, so, yeah. Yep. So that was initiation. Then we introduced the go rap, which is Ira's methodology. We said go rap stands for God's existence, oneness, revelation, and prophethood. So we're going to be going through that in the future week, starting with next week, yes. where we're going to be speaking about God's existence. Yes. Inshallah. So make sure you tune in. Share this video, inshallah. And just before we end, just share a few things about what's coming up and what we've just released in Ayera. So if you go to the website, we've just released the prophetic post for this month, oh, inshallah. So we've shared you know, what we've been doing for the last month, including the Easter campaign that we did, speaking about Isa alayhi salam. And we did this not just in the UK, but it's global. Hmm. So you can see the action from across the world um, and other bits and pieces there. And oh, also, just yeah. to announce, uh, yes. Sorry, also, just, to just before the announce, I also want to say to make this Facebook Live session more productive, more beneficial. Yes. Now that we introduced the topic, we told you what's coming forthcoming next week, and it's, it'll be around the same time between five and six p.m. Yes. Uh, UK time. Uh, have your questions ready before then, because yes. that will make us. So, yes. you know, whatever questions, yes. even better and more advanced, if you're really eager, start talking about God with people and see what contentions they have. So then when you come in next week, you can be ready and we can answer this question. Brilliant, that's, that's great, I like yeah, that. To make so, it more So we're going to be talking about God's existence. If you, you know, if you have friends that are, don't believe in God yeah. or are agnostic in yeah. nature, they're not sure so, or they have a different understanding. Tell them what you know so far. Yeah, yeah, tell them what you know. And next week you build it, inshallah. Build yeah. it, yeah. get it ready. If you have questions, have them ready. You know, how do you articulate that Allah exists or yes. God exists, yes. right? So that's for next week. And going 
before we end the show, I yes. just want to announce that Aira have a huge Ramadan Dawah campaign. Oh, hey, right? hey. I have announced, you know, mentioned it in last week's show. I'm not going to mention what it is today, but look out for next week. Because Basically, week. it's... Nah, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Almost. No, no, I won't, I won't. <laughs> We're going live with it next week, so we'll be sharing oh, some of the designs, sure. some of the books... And it's going to be huge, inshallah. And, and everyone can get involved with that? Yeah, so we want all of you to get involved, inshallah. Yeah. And remember, Ramadan is just a few weeks away. Yeah. It's the month of mercy, month of, you know, accumulating as many good deeds. as so much multiple reward. So make sure you get involved. So yes. I think we'll wrap it up Yeah, for we could talk inshallah. the talk, but let's walk the walk as well, inshallah. So, you know, Jazakallah Khairan, inshallah. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to introduce a video... At the end of the show, that gives you an example oh, of okay, okay. the deem's great work when it comes to initiating. Now so you guys accept. can get a taste, an example, inshallah. Oh, which one is that? Good, oh, the one good, in Ilford. I'm not sure which oh. one it is, but it's going to be good, <laughs> you know. And this can give you a taste of like real street initiation, right? Because this is what we're about. We want to teach you to get involved and, and share the message of Islam. So jazakallah khairan for attending today's show. Barakallah khairan, brothers and sisters. Make sure you share the video so people can benefit from this. I make dua for us, so... Yes, as alaykum from me, as alaykum from him. as alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. So, this is the best way of giving da'wah on the streets of London in Essex. Here we go, let me show you it's done. How you doing, fella? You all right? Because you've got a nice jacket, can we chat? You know, you've got to have a bit of banter, got a bit of, bit of humor. I think the people need to know that Muslims are very friendly people. They can also be cheeky, they can be happy, they can be happy-go-lucky, they can be bubbly. This is what's needed. Because if we can show that, then they won't be afraid to talk to us. They're not going to think, oh, we're aggressive Muslims. They're going to think they're very friendly. So even if they don't chat, they get, they take a booklet and they'll be happy about it. So for that with these lovely guys, how you doing fella? You alright? Yeah. Bro, you're looking very smart. Are you going to a wedding? I am, I know I am. Listen, listen, let's talk about smart. About life. I have my own life. Well, tell me about it, I want to know. Teach me. Have a nice day, no problem. I was um, wondering about something. I was wondering. Can, can we share the wonder? Ella, free gift. Offer. Whatever's there. Ah, oh, here he is. You're a fella. So, how are you, brother? Are you in a massive rush? Yeah. Same here. But I'll still make time for you. How are you doing, guys? You're right. Yeah. Are you in a rush? Sir? Are you in a rush? No. Okay, talk. Let's chat. No. No problem. So, yeah. Big smiles all around. How are you doing, fella? You're right. Do you support Arsenal? Tottenham? Man U? Are you in the football? Okay, no problem. I understand. So, uh, you seem like a very friendly person. Apparently, there's a lack of friendly people in this world. Can we have a quick chat? Later. What time? <laughs> okay, have a nice day, no problem. Ah, uh, here he is. Brother, can we talk about prams? No, okay, I understand, no problem. I understand. Bro, you look cold, man. It's freezing. I won't make you long, just five hours. No English. Uh, English reading? Can you read? Life, God, Islam? No, okay. Have that, that was my message. That was it. Can I give you a booklet, madam? It's actually free. Or oh, 10 pounds. Oh, okay, no problem. Have a nice day. The key thing is banter. I think there should be more banter, especially in street dawah. Um, it will help the Muslim brothers who are involved in dawah to, uh, in terms of longevity, continue dawah because they can become very tedious and boring. Uh, and it also make the people aware that street dawah, that people, the Muslims, when they're in the city center, the town center, they're very happy, jovial, bubbly people. And that's it, inshallah. How are you doing? You're right. Can I give you a. You can put it in your suitcase. 